Take your Bible. Understanding the ministry of fasting and prayer. Let's get one thing very clear. Everybody look at me. Fasting and prayer is not a calling. Fasting and prayer is not for men of God. It's for all men. Fasting and prayer is not a gift. It's a sacrifice that you must make especially in this kingdom. So Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Then I will also read verse 13 and 14. And Jesus being, take note of this, Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. When they were ended, he afterwards hungered. That means the Bible showed us that he was hungry. He didn't have gifts of fasting, so he required sacrifice, discipline. Somebody shout, Amen. amen. Verse thirteen, and when the devil had ended all the temptations, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out fame of him through all the region round about. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. As long as this kingdom is consigned to generate power requires fasting and prayer. Look at me very well. To generate power requires fasting and prayer. Requires midnight prayers to generate power. In this kingdom, if you want to see power, you will see power. But in this kingdom, if you want to be lazy, you can be lazy. Once you are here on earth and you are giving your life to Jesus, you are a new creator. And the Bible says all things are passed away. It means you have declared yourself an enemy to the kingdom of darkness. It is a dangerous thing. Everybody please listen. It is a dangerous thing to be in this kingdom and not to be powerful. Even people in the other kingdom, they realize that on earth here, yeah, it requires power for you to reign. It requires power. Why do you think people are joining Okot? Why do you think people are joining the Okot? There are people that were already rich and they were told that they must join Okot. Why do you think they go to join no court? They go to join no court for power. Because that is the knowledge of power they know. They are not used to the genuine power of Elohim. So they go, they go to join no court, they are initiated. And to come into a certain dimension, to enjoy certain abundance, they will require certain level and dimensions of sacrifice. Any child of God that cannot fast and pray, any Christian that cannot fast and pray, that cannot get up at midnight, shakapa, rokomoleka, embre, kamandia, kupaladia, forget about power. Satan will make mess of you here on earth. Satan will mess you up. Life will mess you up. Fasting and praying are irrefutable biblical keys. As long as power ministry is consigned. As long as power to be in charge is consigned. These are irrefutable keys. They are biblical. Somebody shout amen. When we talk about fasting and prayer, 
Power will not come because you pray, you fast, you prayed and fasted one day. Power will not come because you prayed and fasted for six months and took break again. Power only come in the place of consistency. That's how power is supplied. Power only comes in the place of consistency. You are joking as a child of God. If you cannot make this a lifestyle, you are joking. Show me a generation that prays. I will show you a generation that have access to power. Show me a generation that fast and pray. I will show you a generation, Hayamakota, a generation that have access to power. A generation that can fast and pray is a generation that have access to power. A generation that can deny their sleep and wake up while others are sleeping. Shako Poronde Lezukaparia is a generation that will have access to power. Power is available but not accessible to everybody. Whatever you cannot settle in the secret place will disgrace you in the open place. If you read Acts chapter 23, the Bible says certain men gather together to fast that they will not eat or drink until they kill Paul. People want to kill you. They are even fasting to kill you. And you, you are you, you are not praying. Arrows are flying here and there to be able, are you hearing me? To be a Yakoma Sivre Tempra Yanda. To be able to divide them as you are going, they are being diverted because you are you carry power, you carry power, you carry power, you carry power. There is a spirit that works for you. It's a big attack on you. It's the day you decide to pray by 7 a.m. You are already hungry. The day you decide to fast, by seven in the morning, you are hungry. You say, now nah, this fasting, this fasting, it's like we'll, pros uh, it's like we'll postpone it or the thing is doing me somehow. And the day you don't want to fast, that's the day you will not even remember. You can stay for up to 4 p.m. You have not even eaten. Don't you know that it's a demonic attack? Because the devil knows that the day you pray and start fasting... They can't assess you anymore. Don't say it's a gift. It's not a gift for any man of God. There, I've read my Bible many times, cover to cover. There is no single place where I saw that he gave gift of fasting to men. He gave, no, 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 no. It's for everybody. And it's a command. He said, when you fast and pray. He didn't say, if you pray. When. When? That means it's a command. When in the place of fasting and prayer, that's where you generate fire. The biggest attack of the devil on any man, any Christian, any child of God, is the attack on your prayer life. When your prayer life is attacked, you know what? You, uh, automatically you have become powerless. And to be powerless is to be a cheap prey in the hands of the devil. Remember, he's seeking. He didn't say he goes everywhere devouring people. No, no. The Bible said the devil is going to and fro. First Peter 5 8. Seeking for womb. Womb to devour. That means he goes to a place where there is so much fire. He says, No, if I enter there, I will, I will die. If I enter there, they will destroy me. But it gets to another place. There is no fire. He enters there. He devours. Prayer is a command. As a businessman, you will do well when you begin to pray. As a student, you will do well when you begin to pray. Wherever you find yourself, you will do well when you begin to pray. Because this life is controlled by the Spirit. Whatever that is settled in the spirit is what is manifested in the physical. <laughs> Nothing just happened. Nothing just happened. Tell somebody, say, prayer is a command. Prayer is a command. Ask 
those people out there, Christians that walk out there, that meet secular people, they will tell you they want to do business, they want to do contract, they take it to their altar, they make it contention, they do all manner of things. You as a child of God, you get up, you are going for the same thing they are going for. They have already gone to fortify themselves. You are not fortified. You go to your own altar. Shako malatayaba. Aperendo sompe. La sukamande. Jekola paria. Susefreya. Madika naswante. Drop that. You are tendering for the same contract. You. You are seeing paper. But the people that will access the contract to approve it. It's not paper they are seeing. Your own is just number paper they are seeing. But beside that paper, there is a spirit. There is a spirit in that paper. That is why you come to your own altar. Drop it on the altar. Shakoma Lande, Rebotokoya. I am going for this contract. I know there are people of the opposite power also going for what I'm going for. Everything you are looking for, somebody is looking for it. Go extra mile in the things of God. Go deep. Go deeper. Go extra mile. Go extra mile. They that know their God. 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 They shall be strong and they shall do exploit. What does it mean to know your God? It means when it's time to fast, you fast. Declare fasting and prayer. Put that document on the ground. Put it in the place of prayer. Six to six. If you cannot fast six to six, you can break it by three. Jano parande, kaliva, rotokapaya. Lord, as I go for this contract, I know the heart of the king is in thy hand. Oh Lord, go ahead of me. Open the leaf gate of these people to me. As I go, open it unto me. Mesulaparia, duke melenkwa, zanaya, molenko, zokeparaya. As you are speaking, a spirit is taking over that document. As you are speaking, a spirit is taking over that document. What you are holding doesn't become a document anymore. They came with a spirit, you also came with a spirit. Yes, sir. But there is a higher spirit. Yes, sir. The lesser spirit will bow to the high one. Women. Because in the realms of the spirit, the spirit bows to higher ones. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. When Moses entered into the palace of Pharaoh, he dropped his staff on the ground. Pharaoh said, what are you talking about? We also understand spiritual oppression. He called his magician. When the magician came, they also dropped their staffs on the ground. He also became serpent. But the Bible said that of Moses swallowed their own it's a spirit versus spirit that of Moses swallow their own it doesn't matter what is coming against me it doesn't matter who is coming against me yes, sir. I have full confidence I know who I am yes sir. for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world I am too anointed to be wasted yes sir. I carry too much fire you touch me you born you Zanuante, Janikapaya, the spirit you carry as you are entering there, the organ matter, matter that is in charge, he sees you, he says, Ah, I like your shirt. This is you that came for interview. Oga is liking your shirt. Where did you buy the shirt? He said, ah, Don't worry, you want it, I'll get one for you tomorrow. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. This is a multi millionaire that have access to buy anything then he just sees you say i like your shirt wow where did you who, who is making where did you get it from you say don't worry i will get you one tomorrow uh you have to come back tomorrow now so he had to give you the contract <laughs> hey! and there are people that also pray that they don't even understand what prayer is you are praying you are browsing your phone you are not praying. You are wasting your time. No. 
What it means to seek, when you are looking for something, you are focused on what you are looking for. The time of fasting and prayer is the time to see God. You can't hold your phone. In fact, as a matter of fact, whether fasting and prayer or not, there are days you must go Sabbath on your phone. There are apps you must uninstall in your phone. You must delete them from your phone. If you check, they are distracting you and they are not giving you anything. There are days you go Sabbath on your phone. You are praying, you are browsing through your phone. Ikomondo shakaba ligaba. Hello, hello, hello. Come here, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, the prayer. The Holy Spirit now your mate. You are seeking for God. You are no. When such time comes, either you put off your phone or you silence it. Don't go to the place of browsing anything. There are apps you should never open. You know, there's so much noise. That's why you can't hear the voice of God. You are receiving too many demonic, ungodly information at the expense of the, inform the voice of God. And you are walking by the things you are hearing from the world, not by the direction that comes from the Holy Spirit. If the time you spend on your phone, you use it to follow God, your life will change. Unto him that heareth prayer, shall all flesh come. You can't go to the one that hears prayer. He wants your complete attention to give you his attention. You can't hear his voice because there's too many distractions. As a businessman, pray. As a career person, pray. You need it in the place of your work. You need it in your business place. You are dealing with humans with different spirits coming to them. Don't you understand? What spirit will be speaking for you? If you cannot influence them, they will influence you. Mazo Kamaya, you have prayed and prayed. You enter your office before you start any work. You move around the office. Shakuma Taya, Embreno, Somenti, Le Cocomanta, Japerendo, Kumaswata. Sometimes you can declare a day of fasting and prayer in your office, in your place of work, in your business place. Karumpaladia. A man that prays in what they do is not the same thing with a person that don't pray. I take over this office today. Father, we come here to glorify your name. As an apostle, I'm not an apostle that preaches in the church, but I'm an apostle in the marketplace. My job is to bring money, to, money for your kingdom. So I come as an apostle of the marketplace. Father, I take charge of this territory. Do you understand? Peter, if not, you, you can know everything. You put everything in place, yet nothing comes out of it because spirit will frustrate you. Anywhere you see yourself, you are an apostle in the marketplace. In that secular place where you work, that is why God put you there to manifest his glory. The world is waiting for the earnest manifestation of the sons of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you think it's easy, you have all the idea, you have all the connection, but you are not connecting. Don't go looking for people that you will get money from. Fight the spirit. Invite the spirit that gives money to people. Hear this. Jesus said, a spirit can come into a season where there is no season and make it season. <laughs> a spirit can also come into a season that is season and make it season less for you. You say, oh, that man is helping people. It gets to your tongue. The spirit says the man will not help you. The woman will not help you. 
Go and deal with spirits, not men. If you don't have knowledge of the word of God, if you don't understand of the ministry of fasting and prayers, you don't understand the ministry of spiritual covenant, you will, you will be stranded here on earth. Kamundeke. I believe in the ministry of fasting and prayers. I believe in fasting and prayers. I believe. Komanawayapa. Kumpre sonondiata. Adifra son pinakula da yankos. Shema la kumpra dea. And also, fasting is not just a time when you abstain from food. No. Fasting is not just a time when you abstain from food and sleep. No. Maybe you just go to lie down. See, it's never seen a <laughs> See, it's never seen a <laughs> Uncle, see, it's never seen a you are putting the work clock, you are just looking, you are just watching time. And at 5 30, thank God, now 30 minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, why is four o'clock? He has already arranged. Come, cook on a rice. I want to break my fast. <laughs> now rice or fry add fish, add chicken. You are you are fasting. You are telling them. <laughs> Should that plantain with the bricks to the house? That one way don't ripe and have fry and fry the plantain. <laughs> and you are you are for the fact that you are even thinking about food. No, it's a wasteful exercise, brother. But when you fast, make sure you pray. Make sure there is word study, study of the word. Then make sure there is worship. When you fast and pray, you did not separate yourself to pray, to study, to worship. You have not fasted. My submission. You have not. You have not. Take note that fasting and prayer said before is not for men of God. It's not for men of God. It's not for men of God. Now, now I, I think I said this to you before. I want to repeat it again. The, hear this. The most important Christian activity of the kingdom is prayer. Matthew 21, verse 13. Matthew 21, 13. Because prayer is a command. I showed you before, Luke 18, verse 1, prayer is a command. But let's see what Jesus said. And said unto them, it is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it den of tips. Do you know how God looks at you when you're risen, when you come to church, you chase women or you chase men? How God looks at you. Do you know how God looks at you? The way Jesus was, he said, my house, the primary assignment of my house is prayer. Communion between man and spirit. We are spirit, we constantly come to man in the place of prayer. He said, but you have turned into something else. Do you know, do you see why it's dangerous for you to be in church? You are buying something. He said, my house is the place of prayer. You are fasting, yet you are standing there with people. You didn't know what they, come, what they came with, the spirit that followed them. You are, st what a shame. You are standing. Give me buns, madam. Give me one Coke. You know, girl could bring Percy.
And meanwhile, we are fasting. You, you are starting. Listen, if nobody is buying, they will not sell. We, we declare, God gave us, God asked us, instructed us in the place of prayer that we should fast for 22 days. This is the year of greater works. To come into that capacity, we are asked to fast. Money. So if you can do this around the church premises, what do you do in your house? You are not even ashamed, you are standing boldly. Madam, dad do not. No, the one way there for grand. That no, that one way there for grand. The one way there for grand. And that one way there for grand, you go eat. Listen, be eating. No, be eating. You are in the church before you came to. It's an aberration. Even when we are not fasting, to eat and come to church is an aberration. Because you came to seek a spirit. Be eating. It is food that make a man of destiny porridge. He lost his destiny. Food. Food that you have been eating since you were born. And you have not gotten, you are still eating. In the morning, give me bones. No, that one on the egg roll. That one where the egg, they come out. Give me, give me Pepsi. Give me Pepsi. You don't get Pepsi. Give me Mirinda. You are eating it, you are drinking. You are standing there. For the, for the fact you are standing on the junction, it shows your level of destiny. Very classless people. That's what that's who you are. Esau came. The brother said, If you must, if you if you want me to give you porridge, give me your destiny. How people, how a man, because of porridge, red porridge, lost his destiny. Imagine God brought something for you this morning, waiting for those fasting and prayer, and one of the angels saw you eating, the angel will turn back for your assignment. Keep exchanging your destiny. Keep, keep exchanging your destiny. Have you not heard, my house, my house, my house shall be called a house of, oh, I want to have power like this man. You think by laying on of hands you will have power? No, 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 no. In the secret, you must pay the price. Shadumala Kambaradia. You will do greater things. Amen. This year you will do greater things. Amen. This is a one being prayer. It's not prayer. Prayer that will bring transformation. That is not how they prayed. Prayer that will develop capacity for greater works. That's not how they prayed. Ladies and gentlemen. Luke chapter 9 verse 28 to 29. Let me show you something. How do you think? Well, Jesus came as God. Yet God in human incarnate was still praying. The Bible said he went to fast for 40 days. You want, what are you saying? Yes, God is merciful, but there are things you will dig up that he has kept for you. That's how God trains his people. Look. And it came to pass about an eight days after this saying, he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to do what? To pray. To pray. To pray. That's how, that's how it went. To pray. Now, verse 29, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistering. Give me from the message translation. You know what it means? These, these verses, these two verses, you know what it, it, it means? It means prayer brings about growth and transformation. No man grows without prayer. No Christian. Watch. While he was in prayer, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became blinding white. That means like the rays of sun. When you look, you can't, you can't look at it. Blind. That means glory. He could not look at it. When Peter saw this, he said, Master, this is too much. Let's make for us three tabernacles. One for Elijah, one for Moses, one for the master. When God was in need for 
people to stand, intercessors that are proven to stand with his son, Jesus, in the place of prayer for the contending of salvation. He brought men that can pray. He didn't bring any other man. He brought men that can pray. He brought Elijah. He brought Moses. These are men that have proven, that have proven track record of intercessors in the place of, they are intercessors in the place of prayer. And watch, this is why when they left, God did not just take them, God took them with their body. Because the only thing that gives you right to the planet Earth is a human body. The only legal entry point to the planet Earth is through the womb of a woman. You must have flesh to be able to operate in this world. That's why when, when Moses died, God asked the angel to go and bring his body. Because Moses will need the body to come to the earth realm again. When he was to take Elijah, you know what happened? He didn't kill him. He took him with his body. So because for you to come, spirit and power will stop you. That's why when the angel was coming, the spirit stopped him. The priest of Pesha stopped the angel. What are you coming to do? Where is your body? You, don't, you are not aligned to this territory. But when Elijah and Moses was coming, no power stopped them. Because they have human body, they still have right of access. 